Beginning in June 2012, the GMAT, the exam that more than 5,000 programs at 2,000 business and management schools worldwide rely on to guide their admissions decisions, will feature a new section called Integrated Reasoning. This section tests an emerging set of skills identified by schools around your ability to interpret and use data to answer questions. Some people are good at math, some people are good at writing, but to be a good executive you need to have all of the skills at your disposal and you need to know when to use what. Managing information effectively has never been more important to success in the business world. Business schools and employers are looking for people who can swiftly handle complex flows of data presented in both numbers and words to make smart management decisions. I think if you, if you start with the premise that says the nature of work has changed, therefore the nature of teaching has changed, therefore the nature of the admission exam has to change. You know, it's just, you know, it's a simple logical process. GMAC used input from hundreds of business school faculty and deans from around the world to guide the development of the new integrated reasoning section. This new section allows people to demonstrate their ability to use data presented in multiple formats to develop the information needed to answer questions. So as we get all these multiple sources of data being thrown at you continuously, how quickly and how sensibly do you integrate that data becomes a very important factor in your success as a leader. I thought the skill tester in the integrative reasoning test is quite valuable in the real business world because uh, when we are uh, actually in the business world we have to deal with uh, all kinds of different information in all kinds of different forms. For individuals to be successful in their career, uh, one of the key things they had to do is actually make choices and trade-offs. At the end of the day, management is about trade-offs. And what we'd also found is that as the world became more com complex, these trade-offs became more difficult to articulate. They also had to go to many different sources to try to understand those trade-offs. The four types of GMAT integrated reasoning questions, table analysis, graphics interpretation, multi-source reasoning, and two-part analysis will present you with graphs, charts, sortable tables, and other forms of information. Your task will be to analyze the data and answer questions that represent the kinds of challenges managers face every day. The new integrated reasoning section will replace one of the two essays that are now part of the GMAT. As you prepare for the exam, keep in mind the length of the test will not change and neither will the quantitative and verbal sections. You will still receive a total score reflecting your performance on the quantitative and verbal sections, as well as individual quant and verbal scores, just as before. But now you'll also have a separate integrated reasoning score that will let you show admissions officers that you have the data analysis skills today's business and management schools and employers are looking for. Using um, the integrated reasoning section, business schools can really tell whether you have the skills that apply specifically to business schools. The hard part in management is trying to figure out how multiple different pieces of data fit together. What do the various streams of data mean about the business environment? If you can handle that, then you're going to be a successful manager and a successful leader. To learn more about the GMAT exam and the new integrated reasoning section, go to MBA.com.